All right, number four on the white test, we've got to use implicit differentiation and the fact that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x to show that the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Um, this is one that we did in class. A little bit tricky if you happen to miss that day, which is a little unfortunate, but maybe you could figure it out anyways. Um, so what we got to do is we can't take the derivative of natural log straight. What we got to do is get rid of this natural log. The way you do that is e to both sides of the equation. And then when we have it written in this form, we use implicit differentiation to take the derivative of both sides. Over here we got the chain rule. The outside function is e to the x, the inside function is y. So the derivative is e to the y times y prime. On the left we got the derivative of x is just 1. So if we solve this guy for y prime, we get y prime equals 1 over e to the y, which if you want to simplify it, e to the y is equal to x. So the final answer is y prime equals 1 over x, which is exactly what we got up here. It's good stuff. All right, on to part b. Um, using implicit differentiation, we want to find y prime in this equation. Uh, this was that folium of Descartes one that we did in class. So what we got to do is take the derivative of both sides. Um, since the derivative of a sum is the same as the sum of the derivatives, we can break this out like that. And then over here, um, maybe we'll go ahead and pull the 6 out right from the start, since it's just a constant. Um, and then we have these three derivatives to evaluate. This guy is pretty easy. Derivative of x cubed is just 3x squared. This one's a little tougher. This one you want to think of as the chain rule. The outside function is x cubed. The inside function is y. So you take care of the x cubed part, leaving the y alone. But then you're not done. You have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, the derivative of y, which is y prime, since y is a function. And on the right hand side, what we have here is actually the product rule. We have one function, this x, and another function, the y. So the derivative of the first function is just 1. So you got 1 times y, leave the y alone, plus, now you leave the x alone, but take the derivative of y, which is y prime, because again, it's a function. Um, and now all we have to do is solve this thing for y prime. 3x squared plus... 3y squared y prime equals, we can distribute this 6 through, so we got 6y plus 6xy prime. And then to solve for the y prime, I think the easiest way is to get all the terms with the y prime in them on the same side of the equation, and the terms without the y primes in them over to the other side. So if we do that, we leave this term alone, subtract this guy over to the left, Leave the 6y alone and subtract this guy over to the right. Um, and now we got a y prime in all the terms on the left, so factor out a y prime. And so finally, to finish and solve for y prime, all we got to do is divide by all this mess. So our final answer is 6y minus 3x squared divided by 3y squared minus 6x. Um, you can take a 3 out of all these, but there's you don't have to. I don't really care if you do or not. If you really wanted to, it would be 2y minus x squared over y squared minus 2. But really, either of those answers, I'll give you full credit. Um, and that's the end of the implicit differentiation problem.